Hello everyone, Kyle Hansen here in Boston, Massachusetts, just outside of the TD Garden, where in two days' time it will be UFC 292 and love him or hate him, one half of Saturday's main event is Helena native Sugar Sean O'Malley, who is a polarizing figure in mixed martial arts. And during Wednesday's media availability, all of the fighters on the card weighed in on his title bout with Aljamain Sterling, with some praising O'Malley and excited to see what he can do, but most just want to see him lose. I don't really care what people say. I, it doesn't really affect me, you know. I, I like kind of being the underdog, being doubted. The UFC Media Day featured a number of fighters in O'Malley's division at 135 pounds. Also fighting on the card is veteran Pedro Munoz, who fought O'Malley last July to a no contest. While not a fan of O'Malley or his antics, Munoz gave credit to him for his ability and believes he's improved since they fought. He's a... Uh pretty tough and getting better every single fight. And, you know, besides all the, the immature stuff that he does on the internet, he's a good fighter, you know, and and um, if I get the opportunity to fight him again, <clears throat> I don't see why not. But O'Malley also had support from Phoenix teammate Mario Batista, who will fight on Saturday as well. I think behind the scenes, like what everyone doesn't see, he's, he's actually, you know, pretty humble, you know, still a funny guy in the gym, but when it comes down to work and to do you know, his, what he needs to do as far as like rounds and, you know, training. He's a, he's a very hard worker and, you know, he, he does, uh, does what he's supposed to. Even Marlon Vera, who beat O'Malley three years ago, weighed in with some compliments, but also his hesitations. He's a great fighter. You know, he have a good pop in the hands. He moves well. Um, in my understanding, his jiu-jitsu is, is pretty good. I just haven't seen him in front of a, uh, like, good competition, right? You can fight number one guy, but how you get to the number one spot, right? Who you beat before the fight. The man who will stand across the octagon from O'Malley is current bantamweight champ, Aljamain Sterling. It's hype. It factor. I don't know what it is. I, I, I don't get it. I mean, he has a flashy style in the sense of he gets knockouts, but the guys he's knocking out, I mean, for the casual fan, that's cool. But for the hardcore fans who actually tune in and watch the sport, I, I think they're smart enough to understand what's what. And I can't wait to go out there and just smash the teacher's pet hype machine and go on with my day. But regardless of anyone's opinion on Sean O'Malley, on Saturday night here in Boston, he'll take center stage with the UFC Bantamweight Championship on the line. Reporting in Boston, Massachusetts, Kyle Hansen, MTN Sports.